Now this third question is if fx is a polynomial function such that f alpha square plus f dash alpha square equals zero. Now assuming that it is a polynomial function with real coefficients, from here we can say f alpha must be zero and f dash alpha must also be zero. We need to find this limit, which is limit x tends to alpha f x upon f dash x greatest integer function of f dash x upon f x. Now we know that any greater function of x is always less than or equal to x and it is strictly greater than x minus 1. So from here we can say this greatest integer function of f dash x upon f x will always be less than or equal to f dash x upon f x and will be strictly greater than f dash x upon f x minus 1. Now we need to multiply it with f x upon f dash x. So we multiply everything with f x upon f dash x. We can write this as f x upon f dash x into f dash x upon f x minus 1. It is less than f x upon f dash x into greater function of f dash x upon f x and less than equal to f x upon f dash x into f dash x upon f x. Now I'll cancel. Here this first part will cancel. So we'll get this as 1 minus f x upon f dash x is less than f x upon f dash x into greatest integer function of f dash x upon f x that is less than or equal to 1. Now if we take this limit x tends to alpha then we can write this limit x tends to alpha here also it will be this limit x tends to alpha and here also it will be this limit x tends to alpha. So value of this limit on the right hand side it is 1. We need to find value of this limit on the left hand side. Now this is 1 minus. Now what about this f x upon f dash x. Now if we know that f alpha is 0 and f dash alpha is 0 it means this alpha is double root of this function f x. So we can write this function f x as some x minus alpha square into and this f dash x will be some x minus alpha into hx. So this fx upon f dash x will have x minus alpha and then some ratio of polynomials px upon qx. Now if we take this limit x tends to alpha here alpha minus alpha will be 0. So value of this limit is 0. So this expression will take the limiting value 0. So limit on the left hand side is also 1. Now limit on the right hand side is 1. Limit on the left hand side is also 1. Then from sandwich theorem we can say that this limit will be equal to 1. So answer to this limit is 1 and that's your option B.